Coin Ops Legends 3 for the Raspberry Pi 4. Maybe for the 3B Plus, but really for you, those with the 4, not PC this time. So finally, I read the comments like, will this work for the Pi? This one will. Yes, uh, put it on 64 gigabyte micro SD card, and you are living in retro gaming bliss. In particular, these builds are awesome arcade builds. So if you prefer old school arcade games with shaders already installed to make that beautiful, you know, bring yourself back to the arcade, amazing. But on top of that, not only while you're playing the game, but the front end on this thing looks gorgeous. Everything from lit up marquees, the brightness, the saturation. It's just a work of art in general. So in this video, let's go ahead and see what games are included. We'll do some gameplay. We'll do some pros and cons. It's a shame that the Raspberry Pi 4 is so expensive and or we're having that chip shortage because if we weren't, I think everybody would be downloading this game. But if you have a Pi 4, are going to get one. This is pretty cool. So let's start the tour off in all games. You're going to start with the alphabet here. You can use your upper trigger buttons to jump letters. But if you go back down to the pound sign here, numbers, three wonders is the first game. But you can actually go back. We're going backwards right now. And you do have the power off. This is the way you have to turn off the Pi. You cannot hit start on your controller in this particular theme and do all the retro Pi, you know, settings. It's not a retro Pi. It's not set up that way. Um, it's set up to be super, super user friendly. Like literally all your options are to turn off the Pi and then to change the themes. Now, some people are like, oh, that sucks. I want to be able to ch You can absolutely SSH into the Pi and change all those things yourself if you're capable of doing that. But the reason why I like this theme is, is well, this whole front end is that you can uh, not break it as easily, one. Two, it's plug and play. And then three, it's just beautiful. It's gorgeous, right? So it's gorgeous because of these cool themes. So you got the cabinet theme over here. We got the cabinet on the left. You got the wheel on the right. Beautiful stuff, kind of a hyperspin look. Uh, if you prefer not having like a cabinet there, but you prefer seeing the video snap, the preview of the game, and then with the bezel as well, as you see here, you could do that. And then you still have the wheel. So similar hyperspin, you know, a slightly different, you know, how you look at it, whether you want to look at the cabinet more or the video snap larger. Now, this is my favorite, the marquee. Something about marquees being lit up, high def, you know, lots of brightness, lots of saturation. It just looks amazing to me. So I love this one right here, the marquee theme. It's one of my favorites. And then you have the legends theme here. We have the menu at the top and uh, you're scrolling horizontally instead of vertically like on a wheel. And you get to see the marquee, you get not the marquee, you get to see the, uh, the logo, you can see the bezel and then the video snap as well. So all games, you have 710 games. You also have, if you go back, you have the, um, you know, the other items here. And uh, we actually have slightly less than 710 because you have the themes. And uh, to add and remove to your favorites, you're just going to hit the start button here right now. You can see in the lower left corner, there's a little heart. Right now, it's a hollow heart. If I hit start, we've now added it to my favorites. And now it's high It's still hollow, but it's highlighted in red. And when I go to my on my D-pad to my right, the next menu is the favorites. And so you can see it's there. I can unfavorite it as well by hitting start again. Now I'm still in my favorites, but I've removed that one. I can go ahead and remove 1944, for example. There you go. I went ahead and removed it. Um, so favorites you can add or remove. It's really cool, especially if you only want to play like 100 of these 700 games. And you have your last played games. It's going to track the last couple games that you've played um, on the system itself. Next up, you have arcade games. So 617 arcade games total. That's going to include, um, well, it looks like there's is it a console game, no? Oh, I guess it's, it's yeah, okay. I see what they're doing here. Yeah. So um, you have 700, 617 total. You've got those awesome shaders that I was talking about. We'll go through the arcade games in just a second. Then you have old school. You have beat-em-ups. You have run-and-gun games. You've got your fight club games your shoot 'em up games, your racing games, and uh, sports games, NBA Jam, etc. And then you have puzzle games like Tetris. You get a couple versions of Tetris, Puzzle Fighter 2. And then you have console games. So you do get a little bit of SNES action on here. Looks like there's some uh, Genesis action on here. Uh, some PlayStation action on here as well. Some Dreamcast action. Uh, that's what I was saying earlier. I thought the Gunner game was, a you know, say Dreamcast and Naomi, right? Um, Killer Instinct, what version are we running here? It looks like oh, Super Nintendo. 
And then on some of these um, cabinets on the left here, you can see um, what system it is that's being played here. So like Naomi here, yeah. That's what I was going to say with the Zero Gunner game I was saying earlier. You know, I feel like that's... Star Fox 64, you got some N64, you got Super Mario 64. Very cool to see that. So, quite a few of your favorites on here. Tekken 1 through 3, Toe Jam and Earl. There you go. Zero Gunner 2, Naomi. There you go. So, there are a few of those in the arcade section, but if you just want strictly console, there's also in there as well. All right. So, we did uh, the marquee theme when I showed you the tour. Let's go ahead and switch. You can also see about how long this takes. You know, the Raspberry Pi 4 can handle this pretty well. PC is obviously going to be even better. You can play PlayStation 3, a lot more games, things like that. So let's just do all games here. Let's switch through some of these alphabets here. And you can see there's like a little bit of delay, but it's not bad, you know, for the Pi. And you can hard scroll. And if you hard scroll, I believe, yeah, it just kind of it keeps the screen that you were on until you let go. And it's beautiful. Like I said, you know, all the artwork's been gone through from the, you know, the actual video snap to the bezels on the left and the right of your screen. And then at the top, you have your your game list. Uh, you might be wondering, like, man, this must take a really long time to scroll between the letters. Well, let me show you at the end of B over here when we get to C. You can hit the triggers at the top to go between letters and numbers. So since we've been looking at the marquee theme, or the legend scene we looked at the marquee theme let's go ahead and switch to the wheel theme this time and we'll start back at c but the way we're going to do that is we're just going to click this we're going to wait a moment and then we're going to go ahead and hit these triggers again and get back to c now and now we are on this theme here and you can see you get a full size video snap this one this theme's cool because you could see the entire game much closer up um you know, I would say the biggest thing to me would be depending on what size of display I'm running this on. You know, I'm running this on a 32-inch monitor right now, so this is very close up for me. Um, where this kind of closer up video, this bigger video snap would be also beneficial on a smaller screen. Where some of the other, like the cabinet build, you know, some of the artwork, the cabinet itself is taking up a good portion of the screen. So you're going to see even smaller, um, you know, video snaps. So looking good, looking great. You don't get to see the marquee with this, though. Uh, let's go ahead and switch it after G. We'll go back and switch it one more time. And uh, these are great games. Like this, The thing I love about CoinOps is the, the collection of games they've chosen is just phenomenal. You know, it's a nice collection. It's a shame that the Raspberry Pi is not... Um, so that was wheel theme we were just on. Now let's go ahead and switch to cabinet theme. Then we'll go back over to H. We had just finished G as far as the game list and um you know like i said it's it's a beautiful good collection i wish that um i think we did g already yeah so let's switch to h and it's a shame that the raspberry pi 4 is so expensive now there is a version of this not the legends 3 but there's past coin ops versions that do work for the raspberry pi 3 but i don't recommend it necessarily it, it there's going to be a significant drop in performance um is it is it worth checking out sure if you got a pipe yeah go check it out but if you have the option like yeah get the Pi four it's a significant upgrade so i'm loving these um i really like this because you still get to see the marquee like i said i'm a fan of marquees and uh you get the high res art on the right underneath the wheel and then you get the you get to see the controls for the game as well. You know what were the typical controls like this game? You had to start, select, and the move button. Right? There's no other buttons. The Pac-Man does not shoot things out of his mouth, at least in that particular version. And um, so what I was saying was, you know, the Pi. It's such a shame that the Pi Four costs so much money. Uh, so for people just getting into it, you know, it's expensive. Um, if you already have one laying around. This is a slam dunk for me, you know. Um, but even if the Pi is like $100, you know, there's systems out there for $200, $300. And this one, homemade. By the way, check out the CoinOps Discord server. That whole community is doing great, great work, not just for Pi, but for PC. You know, the fact that this thing is just so clean, you know, you might be wondering, what do you mean? 
you, there's these Amazon devices, these things on Alibaba Express, you know, even, you know, things like Pandora's box, which tend to be slightly more polished. They don't compare, in my opinion, as far as how, you know, detail oriented these builds are, these are just blow them away. They blow them out of the water. So I'm digging this a lot. Um, now we'll go through the pros and cons later. I'm sure I'll be doing that later in the video with some gameplay. Um, there's definitely pros and cons, but uh, give credit when credit is due, you know? Huge, 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 beautiful front end here. Uh, as far as lag, you might get a stutter here and there, but it's like 95% there with all these games. All right, and there we go. We're back on the themes. All right, so there you have it. Coin Ops Legends 3 for the Raspberry Pi 4. Although, as according to the notes, it does work for Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. Not just the 3B, 3B Plus. Make sure there's a plus sign there. And uh, as you see here, beautiful. Love the shaders. Love the, um, not the marquee. I keep mixing marquees with the, um, the bezels on the sides of the screen there. And um, really beautiful. Um, all these games are going to play just fine, you know, on the Raspberry Pi 4. And like I said earlier in the video, it's just such a shame that Pi 4s are in such shortage. If you have one around, this is such a great plug and play, especially for somebody who's maybe a little less tech savvy. Because once you burn the image onto the SD card, um, by the way, you download it, it's like it's less than 32 gigabyte download. But then when you extract it, it is over 32, so you're going to need a 64 gigabyte. But anyways, Xbox 360 controller this. I mean, all you got to do is turn on the Pi. You can beat it. You can play for hours and hours on the end and never have it overheat. It is really a great little retro gaming device. Now, you know, a lot of people watching my channel are probably like, ah, meh, I got this build over here, you know, blah, 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 512 gigabytes, this, this, and that. For sure. And so for what this is in this plug and play category, really beautiful and really focused on arcade, two thumbs up. But that's it is the downside is if that's not exactly what you need, there are other builds out there or build your own uh, to your liking. Anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Catch you on the next one.